Hi everybody, today we are going to discuss about solenoid valve in washing machine. Solenoid valve is an electromagnetic device which uses an electrical signal to open or close a fluid flow. Solenoid valve is a control unit which when electrically energized or de-energized either shut off or allow fluid flow. Today we are going to see a problem with the solenoid valve and how to rectify in LG washing machine. Now let us open the back side of the washing machine where the solenoid valve is there. Just we can open the top box. Now here we have a problem that the cold water solenoid valve is not working. So we are not using hot water valve. So I am going to interchange both the valves so that when I am using the cold water valve it will be working. So let us carefully remove all the plugs. There will be a small screw which is attached here. Remove that screw. After removing that screw you can take this entire socket outside like this. Now you can remove the solenoid. So I am removing all the screws one by one. After removing the solenoid we can take the plastic connector and we can clean this in running water so that if any dust or anything has blocked the way it will be removed. After cleaning the entire system I am going to interchange the hot water solenoid valve and the cold water solenoid valve. In our washing machine the hot water solenoid valve is working the cold water valve is not working so that if I interchange it will start working let us see how it works so once again connect all the ports connect all the screws after connecting all the screws you have to carefully handle this because these parts are very agile now we have connected all the screws both the solenoid has been interchanged now let us fix this in the washing machine and check whether it is working care should be taken while fixing slowly connect it connect the screws and connect all the cables wire which we have disconnected now i am connecting the first screw after doing this let me connect all the wires everything looks perfect now let us connect the filters and other items so that uh, we can close the entire circuit as we have opened I'm closing the hot water valve as well as the cold water valve I'm closing the entire circuit now we have connected all the screws there are two screws at the top and two screws at the back side we have to connect once we connect all the screws we can connect the water outlet and we can check whether it is working yes it is perfectly working